The Incredible Hulk returns, 1988. More than three decades ago, we saw the very first glimpse of Marvel's superhero Thor on the screens, and it happened when the second iteration of The Incredible Hulk was released back in 1988. Famed actor Eric Allen reprised the role. Despite the first Hulk movie being a hit, the second one failed to wow the masses and wasn't as successful. Due to this, even though this TV movie was supposed to serve as a pilot for a proposed Thor TV series, similar to a Hulk one, it never went into production, since nobody was willing to take a leap of faith in a flopped character. How unfortunate. Thor, 2011. We had to wait for another 23 years before we saw the God of Thunder on the big screens again. Thor got its very own franchise in Marvel's third phase, but the initial reception to the movie was lukewarm, despite actor Chris Hemsworth doing an amazing job breathing new life into the character. Chris and his brother Liam Hemsworth were the last contenders for the part of Thor. Chris found it amusing, but he expressed no animosity toward Liam, admitting that he was rooting for him to earn the part. Acclaimed director Kenneth Branagh ended up choosing Chris in the end, and we are not complaining one bit. The Avengers, 2012. Before we could witness another standalone Thor movie, we saw him feature in the iconic Marvel crossover movie The Avengers. The movie took the world by storm and was beloved by fans and critics alike, a major reason being Thor's charismatic performance in the film. You'll be shocked to hear that to maintain the physique he built up for the first Thor movie, Chris Hemsworth had to increase his food consumption by a lot, which included chicken breasts, salmon, steak, and eggs every day. Hemsworth stated that he had to ingest the equivalent of his body weight in protein grams, and we can clearly see where all that food went. Truly the body of an Asgardian god. Thor The Dark World 2013 just two years after the release of the first Thor film, Marvel decided to follow this up with a sequel, this time under the leadership of a new director. Things didn't quite go to plan since director Alan Taylor found it hard to carry on the flow and continuity from the first film into his own version. Even though the movie is widely considered by many as the weakest of the Thor franchise, interestingly enough, because of the high difference between the two, a box and eventually a ramp, had to be employed in parts of Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth close-up and kissing moments. Now isn't that hilarious? Except your surrender. Anyone else? Avengers Age of Ultron, 2015. Despite the second Thor movie setting the franchise back a little, fans could not get enough of the character himself, and this was apparent in the next Avengers movie. The movie could not live up to the hype of its predecessor and failed to bring the same kind of commercial and critical success, but Thor continued to impress throughout. Not known by many people, it wasn't just the fans who were in awe of Thor, but the writer of the movie as well. Chris Hemsworth was Aaron Taylor Johnson's favorite superhero from the Avengers after making quite an impression on him from the previous movies. That's what we call a true superhero. Thor Ragnarok, 2017. 2017 saw renowned director Taika Waititi taking over the helms of the Thor franchise, and he took it in a completely different direction, preferring to give it a light-hearted touch and bright color palettes. The result was a movie that turned out to be highly entertaining and was loved by fans throughout the world, becoming an instant commercial and critical hit, despite a few inconsistencies in the plot and character development. Let us tell you something mind-blowing from the movie. Thor's, quote, friend from work line about the Incredible Hulk was suggested to Crimson Hemsworth by a Make-A-Wish child who visited the set on the day the scene was filmed.
Avengers Infinity War, 2018. The end of Phase 3 saw Marvel release its finale in the form of a two-part blockbuster, the first of which was Avengers Infinity War. At this point, we all know about the massive budget and huge commercial and critical success of the movie. But did you know that during the third act of the movie, Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth ad-libbed the dialogue between Captain America and Thor in which they compared their facial hair, reasoning that they have known each other long enough to have that kind of friendly banter. Damn, don't we all wish we had friendships like that? Avengers Endgame, 2019. The final movie of Marvel's third chapter was released towards the end of the decade and delivered on the hype the franchise had built around it for over a decade. Fans of the Thor franchise will be shocked to hear that Natalie Portman's appearance in the film was created with leftover footage from Thor The Dark World, and she also did voiceover work for a scene when she is talking in the distance. Although Portman didn't shoot any new scenes, she attended the film's premiere. Another Easter egg in the movie was when we see 2012 Thor mention going for a bit of lunch. It's a reference to the post credit scene from the Avengers, where the group is seen eating shawarma. <laughs> Thor, Love and Thunder, 2022. Great news for all you Thor fans out there. Thor is coming back to the big screens this year, and it is going to be even bigger and better than the previous ones. But with a few interesting twists, Christian Bale playing the villainous god Gore in this movie is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more. This movie marks Natalie Portman's official return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Jane Foster. This was officially confirmed at the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con when Portman walked on stage and director Taika Waititi handed her a Mjolnir prop, also confirming that Jane would become the mighty Thor in this film. We cannot wait to see her take on this role.